please make yourself at home as I share with you our home decorated for Christmas. start in the living room as I usually do in years past here by our front door this is sort of our entryway I have this beautiful vintage dresser and on top of it I have a large oversized basket that I have filled with white poinsettias and you'll see all throughout the house this gorgeous green velvet it is my favorite statement piece this Christmas One of my absolute favorite things to decorate this time of year are our built-ins. We did install these and add them to our home a couple years ago. And I have loved making a fresh magnolia garland to drape across the top. And you'll see here I have more of that green velvet and I layered it with a sort of cream colored satin to just give some dimension, add some texture to this garland area. On the other side of the built-ins, the main thing I added were these vintage glass Christmas ornaments to this area. We have a huge mantle that my husband built a couple years ago. I love just a traditional sort of Williamsburg, old New England style with the fruit. So I have some faux apples and oranges and pears this year. And then I've added some pheasant feathers for again, a very traditional, very classic and timeless look. I love how our mantle wraps around so I'm able to actually decorate the side of it as well. In our hallway, we have this gorgeous vintage mirror and I just simply tied a bow of some burgundy velvet. You will see the velvet, like I said, all through the house this year. I absolutely love this view of our home from the hallway, looking at the mantle, looking all the way straight through to the dining room. We have our six stockings hung by the chimney with care. Again, more green velvet. And these have been collected over the years. Some are vintage, some were from Pier 1, but definitely some treasured stockings that we have collected. And here is a look at our Christmas tree. I just am loving those richer colors, the navy, the green, the burgundy. So you can kind of see that mix of colors all together on our tree. As we make our way into the dining room, you can see it's pretty simple since we use this room a ton. So on the tabletop, I just have a tray with a collection of lovely things that I can easily pick up and move. These are some amaryllis bulbs. They're also called paper whites. Shortly after we moved to this house, about five or so years ago, I installed the wall molding and added a ledge specifically so that I could display some beautiful silver pieces and really dress it up for Christmas time. So I just, again, added more greenery. These are some faux oranges. I just, again, love that traditional colonial look. And then I love this little star banner. I found that at a yard sale. And I just love how when it moves, it kind of glitters and reflects the Christmas tree. On top of all the other ways that we use our dining room throughout the year, I love at Christmas time to have a basket of wrapping supplies so that my dining table can become a little wrapping station. So I have lots of plaids this year. I love, again, the classics. And I have this really cute Courier Knives tin and inside I actually have 
gift tags and scissors and tape. Taking a peek outside, I have more magnolia garland on our front railing with this really beautiful bell garland that I found at Hobby Lobby. But I love that it has such a vintage and classic look that will last for years. And then on our little Labrador dog, he lives out here year round. I just tied on a really cute red bow. On our door, we have a beautiful wreath with some also vintage looking bells that tie in with the other bells. I decided this year to use our vintage sled as a treat station for delivery drivers. Moving over into our kitchen, as I'm sure with most of you, the kitchen is the heart of the home it is the hub of the family and there is so much that goes on in this room so i try to keep things pretty simple and pretty practical like our red dutch oven i have a little copper pot that i love to use as my simmer pot this time of year and all through the winter just some oranges some cloves and cinnamon just make the house smell incredible Something that we did add new this year that will probably stay around all winter is a little hot cocoa station. I thrifted the glass jars, the little apothecary jars, filled them with all the different things we would need and just gathered all of our Christmas mugs. Again, on a tray, it just helps to corral things and give some items that may look like clutter a purpose and a spot. So I love to do that. Another tradition is definitely to hang my cinnamon applesauce reindeer garland above the kitchen sink and I just filled that ledge with some evergreens and some magnolia as well. I did also add a few touches to my kids' bedrooms, and one thing that has definitely been a beloved tradition in the nursery is to add this little mini nativity to the baby scale. And I have done that for all four of my children for the past nine years. seen this idea to take a vintage Santa cake topper and put it on top of a globe for many years and I love how it looks so I finally found one on eBay this year and I just think it is one of the cutest things ever. In our cozy master bedroom, it doesn't take very much to bring in some Christmas cheer. So one simple thing I like to do is swap out our pillows for just some red flannel. We don't have a full flannel set. I just feel that the pillows alone bring in that Christmas cheer and coziness and I did add a cute little Christmas pillow. I also love putting just some fresh greenery swags on our closet doors and I made one to put on our vintage mirror as well. love to add a few Christmas touches to our sunroom. I actually found this little tree in our woods and I put on a bunch of vintage ornaments, these little tiny wooden ones, and some fairy lights and it's just so cute, especially from the house looking out. And then I have a little peg shelf in here that I have hung up some vintage ice skates and some little red mittens and a cute red Christmassy scarf. <laughs> 